and I actually had Rebecca Mercado come in and tell me her story. And I thought that was so important because unfortunately under current law, that would just be a class three felony, which was equal to if you were convicted of possessing methamphetamine, not even enough meth to sell or deal, that's a class three felony. And the absolute torture of a person certainly needs a stronger penalty. It doesn't seem that other states are doing it, although one in four women will report abuse by a partner. So I think this is an extremely important piece of legislation and we need to be paying attention to this and doing something. If you talk, you'll find out that, a, to be quite honest, animal torture is a class three felony. So I think we definitely needed to, to increase this and, and give the attention to this issue that it obviously deserves with the number of women that are experiencing this. On July 28th and 29th of 2009, I was the victim of horrific domestic abuse. My ex-husband's relenting physical abuse spanned over two days. He beat me with a wooden pole, wooden trim, metal broom handle, and threw a solid wood table at me. Um, even after countless blows, I vomited blood. I was not allowed to sleep during the duration of the two days. If I were to doze off, then he were to um, smack me or slap me away. Um, I eventually passed out um, in pain on the kitchen floor. And during this entire time, my children were present during other women will not have to endure the kind of things that I went through. Um, in my case, I was disappointed that the, the um, penalties were so low, but now if this were to pass, um, it would be, make it a lot easier, a lot better for other women in my case. Well, one of the things that, one of the top priorities in my office is uh, waging war against violence against women, and uh, it's a very serious problem. Uh, Funding is always lacking. Uh, we just completed a $1.5 million federal grant to upgrade our domestic violence prosecutions. And Rebecca's case came in during that, that grant time. And uh, it was it just stood out. Uh, we've never had a, a woman who was beaten over a 24-hour period before. And the injuries she suffered were unconscionable. Under the current law, torture, which has a place in the death penalty murder statute, was not in the aggravated battery statute. And so we've now made it a class one felony to torture a human being. Uh, it's obviously an appropriate balance. Uh, I understand the committee is concerned with the mandatory uh, sentence, but that still gives us a fighting chance in court to argue for prison. And with these injuries, I think uh, there would be no question there would be a significant prison sentence.